And uh, we do have what happens when you have uh, slicks, when it starts to get wet. That's uh, 61 of Stan Barrett. Right there, going around. No harm, though. Oh. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, that poor guardrail. And then take a look here. Is well, Are we going to do this again? Yep, guess so. He must just think he's stunt driving all over again. Yeah, Stan, uh, a, a famous stunt driver. Rusty, I mean, we did this at Pocono one year. Remember it rained during Pocono? We ran around about 15 laps under the rain. Bobby Allison got crashed. All right, well, they are bringing the cars into pit lane. You see the red flag uh, being held at pit end. So uh, we're going to stop things here and wait for everybody, as uh, we heard, to get the, the rain tires mounted and ready. And as they uh, pull into pit lane, we're only at lap 8 of 74 here at Circuit Gilles Villeneuve. It is Scott Pruitt in first, Marcus Ambrose second, Max Pappas third, Patrick Carpentier fourth, and Jacques Villeneuve rounding out your top five. Uh, we should point out there was no need for an Aaron's lucky dog uh, when the yellow came out because everybody was still on the lead lap. We hadn't had any lapping, didn't have enough time. Hey, you know what, on the move, you gotta say something to Stephen Wallace. Stephen Wallace, Vince, Vince it's all you. Well, there you see Marcus Ambrose. He is uh, in the car, his crew getting ready to go over the wall. They wanted to, the NASCAR officials came and indicated that they want all the cars on pit lane before the crew members went over the wall, just from safety, from a safety perspective. Ambrose is taking off his helmet. You see they're going to change helmets for him as well. And you heard Crew Chief Gary Cogswell mention the windshield wiper, the rain tires, of course, taking some rubber out of the rear, making a shock adjustments in the front. But they've got three minutes to make their adjustments, and the NASCAR will line them up as they were on the track initially. Now the crew members just waiting for official word that they can indeed go over the wall and start making those adjustments. Uh, Vince, let's get an update on Marcus Ambrose's situation. You know, it's been interesting is down here on pit lane, it's gone from raining heavy to not raining at all. And right now, just maybe a slight sprinkle at most. So uh, Gary Cogswell, the crew chief for the 59 car of Marcus Ambrose, is telling Ambrose that he believes by looking at the radar that there's probably going to be another cell or two that comes through, but they might be to the dry tires before then. He's telling Marcus, I'm not going to be surprised if we have to go from the wet tires to the slicks and back to the wets. He said whichever crew is at its best and whichever car is fast under both conditions is the guy that's going to win the race. Very complicated, a lot more complicated even on a technical track than we thought we were going to have today. Well, and one thing that we have to point out, unlike IndyCar or Formula One, it will be NASCAR who dictates when you go back to change tires from wets to dry slicks. It is not a team decision, so they have to stay on the, the wet tires until NASCAR calls them in and says, okay, it is now a dry race again, you can go back. Well, they're gonna have to really keep up with this racetrack, because to go back with slicks, the racetrack has to be totally dry. Yeah, and you gotta remember the experience level out there too. I mean, you got some great road racers in the rain, you got some guys that's never done it before, so NASCAR's gotta keep that in mind, and I'm sure they will. I mean, the, these things are safe, the cars are prepared right, so it's up to the drivers right now not to overdrive these cars. All right, so everybody is uh, out on the track. They're getting their first look at what this circuit looks like in the wet. And when we come back, it will be time for another page of history to be turned in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. It'll happen in Montreal as we will race in the rain. Take a look at the uh, Dodge Pace Car. The lights are off. If you follow our series, you know what that means. The crowd understands as they are coming to their feet. They know that history is about to be made in the NASCAR Nationwide Series as they are heading down towards turn 13 and 14 and then onto the front straightaway and the oh, so buddy, I'm telling you what, I am, I'm in this booth and I'm putting my crash helmet on right now. <laughs> I'm pulling my belts down Sorry. because this is going to get wicked out. There's no doubt about that. All right, folks, this is a moment that will live for a long time. You only get to write history one page at a time. As they say in Canada, it is time to all Ready? skate. We're going green. Four back. Ambrose is looking inside. And he's got the position. You know he wants those five points for leading the lap. 
you can see how easy they're going around the racetrack right now. These drivers need to find out how much these tires will take in these wet conditions. Everybody tiptoeing. Ambrose in front of Scott Pruitt. So next time by, we'll be able to see how much slower these cars really are. You see them kicking their rear and out just a little bit. They any time they want it. Any Heading down towards turn six and seven. This was treacherous in the dry. What's it going to be like in the wet? It's a really tight corner. A lot of guys ended up in the grass right off to your left right there in practice. In fact, they're all getting through there right now. But look how slow they're going at the moment, guys. Just really tiptoeing through there. Ron Fellows got around the 32 of Jacques Villeneuve. Take a look. Here comes the 33 of Ron Hornaday. Hornaday ahead of uh, Lef uh, Leffler and Joey Logano. And Leffler has come right back. Battle back up front. There you see Carpentier. Experienced guys. Ron Fellows right behind him. But they're all chasing the Tasmanian Devil. And he is opening up some distance. Remember, he won two championships down in Australia in the V8 Supercar Series. There comes uh, Jacques Villeneuve as he is trying to get around Fellows and does. So he retakes the position. And listen to the Quebecers. They love it. 